from ABC News, World News Sunday. Here's Carol Simpson. Iraq formally accepted President Bush's terms for peace today. And tonight, Iraq's ambassador to the United Nations says he believes Iraq has already released 10 prisoners of war as a gesture of goodwill. Six of them Americans and one of the Americans a woman. We'll have a complete report on events in the Gulf today in a moment. But first, the search for clues in the crash of United Airlines Flight 585, which took off from Peoria, Illinois this morning, stopped in Moline, then in Denver, but never made it to its final destination, Colorado Springs. ABC's Tom Foreman is in Widefield, Colorado, where the plane went down. I was in my house when the time it happened. I heard a airplane fly over, and then, uh, and then we heard this boom. The impact of the United 737 shook the tiny town of Widefield, sending flames roaring through the quiet of a Sunday morning. A home video camera captured those first few moments after the plane crashed in a park with homes on both sides. It looked like it was hanging a hard right, and it just turned, and it went straight down those first, and then I felt, felt the boom, and I took off running to get help. There was no flames in the sky, and when I saw it when it came over, it looked at, I didn't pay any attention to it any more than any other plane that came over, and it just fell straight, it just nosed straight in. The plane was about four miles from the Colorado Springs Municipal Airport, descending after a short flight from Denver. The FAA says the pilot's communications with the tower were normal, with no signs that anything was wrong. This afternoon, investigators were looking for any clues as to why the plane went down. We can't even find a chair, and there's supposed to be a uh, hundred and some odd seats involved uh, on that type of an airplane, and I haven't seen a, a seat out of the airplane at all. In Chicago, United Airlines had this to say. The last inspection would have occurred before it departed from Denver. There was always an inspection before an aircraft departs. It had its routine maintenance uh, inspections throughout its history. Uh, had its heavy maintenance kit, uh, check at the appropriate time, and importantly, we have no reported deferred maintenance items. It has been extremely windy here all day, but no one is blaming the weather yet. Instead, authorities are waiting for the arrival of the National Transportation Safety Board investigative team this evening to figure out what went wrong. Tom Foreman, ABC News, Widefield, Colorado. Late today, searchers at the scene found Flight 585's black box, which should help investigators figure out why the plane went down. There was another plane crash today, in this case, a small military jet in suburban Chicago. The three crewmen aboard the Navy training plane were killed. The jet went down in the middle of a residential street and broke apart on air.